Tell me why this always seems to be the last hotel they drop off from the airport. They do it alphabetically. Why do they do that? That's ridiculous. We've been past here twice. That last hotel was the tropical. If it's alphabetical, we should have been before them. They use the Spanish alphabet. You should have a chemical toilet on there. My blood has gone into shock. What about your bags? Thanks, Sharon. Kind of you. What are you on about? They use the same alphabet as us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, amigo. Three more cases to come out of there. Finito. Do you mean finito? It's empty. Where's my dad's cases? Three red cases about that big. Did you definitely put them in? He was supposed to put them in. He wouldn't let people put them in. I tried, and he told us to just leave them on the pavement. I don't think Jose would have done that. He doesn't speak English. Do you, Jose? No. Where are the bags? Just chill out. They've got to be somewhere. We know they're somewhere. The frigging Taj Mahal is somewhere, but it's not here, is it? I thought your dad's bags were a bit close to that other coach. I remember thinking that could be dangerous if they went in the wrong coach. Oh, brilliant. And you said nothing. I hope you're not blaming me. No, of course I'm not blaming... Oi, where are you going? <sighs> right, listen, you. Where's he gone? Oi, where do you think you're going? Get out here now. Finito. Never mind, Finito. Where's our bloody cases? Sorry, no English, no English. <laughs> Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Are you a crazy person? Dad, the cases aren't in the coach. The mystery can't be solved here. Who the friggin' hell asked you, Sherlock Holmes? The only mystery here is how he's gone from no English to fully fluent in three seconds flat. Come on, amigo, let's be having you. Oh, for crying out loud. Yes, I can see it's a holiday rep's table. I know what a rep's table looks like after nearly 30 years in the travel industry. Oh! Oh, oh, I can't pee! Oh, 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 I, I can't pee! Oh. What on earth is that all about? I don't know. If I had to give an educated guess, I'd say he can't pee. Right. Who put that holiday rep table there? It wasn't me. You seem to be under the impression that my question was, who didn't put the table there? Well, I didn't put it there. Matteo didn't put it there. Jesus didn't put it there. Leslie, you're not listening to me. And it's Jesus. Bless you. <laughs> Where did that crazy man go? He's here in a bra and wig. No, the crazy man shouting about his pee-pee. He went through there. Thank you. Can I help you? Morning. You must be Joyce. I'm Ms. Temple Savage. Ms. What? You just said your name is Ms. Temple Savage. I would told it with Joyce. Ms. It's what you say when you don't want people to know that you haven't got a fella. Exactly. I beg your pardon. It's Leslie, isn't it? Yes, Pet. We met before, haven't we? Yeah, I came here on holiday a few years ago. We all had a night in the old town with Liam. Sam, of course. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognise you, pet. Hey, son, look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, are you working in Benidorm? Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, what is this? Surprise, surprise. Come and see us. Blow and go. Best offer I've had today. <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't get your tits in a twist with me, Grandma. I'm just doing my job. If you've got a problem, take it up with Benny Go Travel. In my office now! No, love. You want to talk to me? You come to my office <gasps> over there. Right. What are you going to do about these cases? If you'd like to make your way over to our new complaints desk, sir. Right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. I go away for three days. Ugh. 
Smells like somebody died in here. Ooh. Kenneth? Hello? <laughs> Who is it? Who, who's there? I've got a weapon. It's a gun. I have got a gun. I am not afraid to use it. Ah! Kenneth! You frightened me to death. What have you been doing in here? It stinks. What's the story, Morning Glory? Get up! And open a window! Ooh. Ooh. That's it, son. Keep pouring it in. Hey! What are you doing? I'm trying to go for a pee. But you cannot pee in the pool. This is against the rules. I don't want to pee in the pool, you idiot. Then why do you not go to the toilet like a normal person? I've been in there, running taps. No, it's working. I've seized up. <sighs> Get out of it, you little bastards! Hey, stop it, you stupid children! Hey, hey, where are you going? Come back here, you crazy fat man! You cannot run around like a lunatic! <sighs> this is ridiculous. Your dad's only got the clothes he's standing up in. You're talking off me, Grandad. Where is he? He said he needs to go for a wee. So I at the airport, then on the plane, then on the coach. He ran in here, so he must have gone to the toilet. That were ages ago, darling. He's had time to do a shh. Shed load of other stuff as well as you know uh, where we. Do you want me to go and look for him? Oh, he's only been gone ten minutes. I don't think we need a search party just yet. Si no están en el otro autobús, entonces dónde está? Oh, sé que han desaparecido, pero no puedo decirse a esta familia. Y lo mismo a ti. Good news. They found your cases. Where were they? On the other coat? No. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, the point is, they found him, the bags. I mean, they won't be here for a few hours, but in the meantime, I could probably wangle you an upgrade on one of your rooms. Oh, lovely. They must know where they found him. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Come here, you crazy man. Uh, you cannot be on the guest. Uh, Dad, are you all right? What's wrong? Uh, I can't pee. I'm in terrible pain. Somebody call a doctor. Call a doctor and say what? I need a pee. Sharon. Sit down. Just sit down for a minute. I can't sit down. I'm going to explode. What's wrong with your granddad? Why is he going to explode? Stop. Oh, don't touch. Don't, no, no, don't. Don't touch him when he gets angry. The thing is, Crystal, we have never had a holiday rep table in the Solana. And this idiot company, Benny Go Travel, is clearly run by delinquents. I see you. You own Many Go Travel. <clears throat> well, well, what a name. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Sorry? A noise? No, I didn't hear anything this end. OK, Crystal. I will give Sam as much help as she needs. Adios. Speak to me. Are you all right, Dad? Dad, mind all that glass. That's it, that's it. Here you go. She have your life. You, you missed one. Oh, uh, move away. Everybody, move away. There is still water leaking from the fish tank. That's not water from the fish tank, son. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's better. Not a single loss of life, nay bother. <laughs> oh, here we go. Lock up your daughter's Benadol. The boys are back in town. Yeah, man. Oh, here we go. 
All right, lads, do you need to check in? Uh, we certainly do. Tiger Dyke, Joey Ellis, two singles. I'm just holding the phone. That's right, that's right. We're both singles. If you have any kids, you should lock them up. I'm sorry? I mean, daughters. Have you got a daughter? Because if you have, you should lock her up. Joey, no. What are you talking about? I have no idea what someone he said. Forget it. Why? We got two kinds of holidays here in Benidorm. We got your standard mental holiday, or we got mental, mental chicken oriental. Oh, put me down for the last one. Yeah, me as well. I love Chinese. Okay. Checking in open just now, but if you make your way over to my desk, I'll talk you through a few trips we've got going and maybe give you boys a couple of cheeky welcome shots, yeah? Oh, let's do this! All the ladies in the house say, whoa! Oh. Yeah, a drink would be lovely, thank you. Oh, thanks for that, pet. Sorry <laughs> I was so long. Yes, gentlemen, checking in. Not just yet, thanks. Woo! <laughs> Get him in, get him in, whilst we can. Welcome to the salon. Check it in. Get him out! Hey. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Enough with the air freshener. Got me carbon footprint to think about. Says you spraying your air with lacquer. This is a tool of my trade. I can smell most of your trade from the past three days in there. Cheeky get. I'm over 18. I can invite whoever I like into my boudoir. That's the point. This is not your boudoir. It's a hair salon. Look, I'm having problems with my flat at the moment. What sort of problems with your flat? I haven't got one. Kenneth, you can't live in the salon. Why not? Because you can't move for empty pot noodles and crispy tissues. That is a treatment room, not a bed sit. But why can't we have it as a bed sit at night and a treatment room during the day? Because the only treatment people would need going in there would be against Impetigo. Impetigo? I thought that was a shade of purple. You need to get a flat. I can't afford another flat. I haven't got a penny to my name. Well, you can't sleep here. We haven't even got a window we can open. I admit it's not ideal. If it's not stag party singing blurred lines at three in the morning, it's 25 stone pensioners smashing into fish tanks. I haven't had a wink of sleep this morning. Hello. Any chance of a quick trim? Please, take a seat. Young Liam here will attend to your every wish. Just a bit off the sides and back, please. No problem. Um, <coughs> a lot of weather we've been having recently. What's that smell? Smell? It's, it's, it's like a cross between wet dogs and mouldy cheese. Oh. <laughs> we were giving our back end a bit of an airy. <laughs> Can I please go see me granddad? No, darling, he needs to rest. I could sing to him. That might make him feel better. No, best to be leaving. He's had a nasty fall. I don't think we're going to see much of him at all for the next couple of days. With a bit of luck. I've tried to convince him, but he won't see a doctor. Oh, he'll be all right. He's as tough as old boots, that one. Hey, what about this room? It's lovely, isn't it? Sharon, my 70-year-old dad just smashed Ed first into a massive fish tank. It's not 70, is he? He'll be 70 in December. You don't seem to be bothered. Of course I'm bothered. We'll have a nice party for him. I don't mean about him being 70, I mean... Hey, what's happened to my cases? I haven't got a stitch of clothing to wear. Granddad! Oh. Don't be mither in me, Geordie. Love, me back's killing me. Geordie, why don't you go and see if our Robert's ready to go down to the pool? What about me? How am I going to lie by the pool with no clothes? You've got the clothes you travelled in. They're soaking wet. I give them hotel to clean and dry. You can borrow a pair of my shorts. A pair of your shorts? What am I going to do with them? <laughs> Put them on my head. Right. That's us all unpacked. I'll see you by the pool. What about me? What about me clothes? I'll go buy you some. You? I'm not letting you buy me clothes. I want something with a bit of style. Thanks. How'd you get this room? You told me they were all the same. Well? Just look at the drawer, innit? Hmm. <laughs> You two all right? Yeah? Yeah. 
because I've got a surprise for you. What is it? It's not my granddad in one of your dresses, is it? <laughs> no, I was going to tell you before, but... What do you mean in one of my dresses? How could your granddad fit into one of my dresses? He couldn't carry on. Then where did you say it? He won't let me go and buy him clothes because he says I've got no style. <laughs> I said, my dad won't. We heard you. Right. So he's asked if you want to go shopping for him. No. What's the surprise? What surprise? Well, somebody's coming to visit us. Coming where? To Benidorm? Yep. Today? Yep. Who? Is it Emily? Who's Emily? Emily, from school. You've met her loads of times. She always sings, all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Oh, that Emily. No, not her. No. Somebody who wasn't in Benidorm, but they've made a special journey to come all the way here and see us. Why are you doing that stupid game show voice? Is it someone we hate? Don't be silly. We don't hate anybody in this family. Oh, well, in that case, we get my dad some clothes. Oh, hang on. I'm in the middle of something. Who is it? It's Nana Chase. <sighs> Nana Chase is coming to see us. A what? What's she coming here for? Rob, that's no way to speak about your nana. Nana Chase isn't really like a nana. Of course she is. She's my mummy, which makes her your nana. I know she is. I said she's not like a nana. She's more like an angry woman in a shop. What shop? Sex shop. Oi! Why didn't you tell us your mother was coming to Benidorm? Why? Why didn't you tell us? Why would you do that? Why? I just did. If I can put up with your father for a year, you can put up with my mother for 48 hours. Come on, Jodie, we're going shopping. Hey, hang on. He wants a full outfit for that, shoes and all. Where does he expect us to go shopping? 1965. He said he wants something uh, jazzy and not boring. They won't be long. Won't they? Nah. Better home joke shop's only a couple of minutes away. <laughs> Taken years off you. Well, you could pass for a man in his early 50s. I'm 48. <coughs> well, that'll be 12 euros, please. How did you know Herbert? Oh, poor Herbert. He was my uncle. Well, not by birth, but a very good friend of my mother's. I was Herbert's dentist. <laughs> Bloody hell! So you were to blame. He only needed a few black ones and he would have been like a piano with the lid up. I did some of my finest work on Herbert's teeth. I didn't agree on the shade of white he favoured, but that was Herbert, larger than life. I inherited them. You inherited what? The teeth. Herbert's teeth. He gave them to Kenneth in his will. Really? Yeah. As you can imagine, I was thrilled. Do you still have them? Oh, they're in a bag somewhere. I'm between the dresses at the moment. Um, I'll give you 50 euros for them. Thank you. Well, I'm not sure I could part with them. They hold a great deal of sentimental value. Sentimental value? You said you were terrified of them. Shut up. 100 euros. I couldn't. It'd be like losing a limb. 150. <laughs> How can you put a price on a smile? I just have. 150 euros. No. Sorry, but my uncle had ten in his grave. Well, if you change your mind, I'm Stanley Keen. I have a dental practice in the old town. That's my number. Have a good day. Go. Ah. Keen by name, keen by nature. Are you going to sell them? Not for 150 euros. We'll go towards a deposit on a new flat. What's he want with them teeth? Do it fit anyone else? Put the clothes sign up, Liam. It's time for the treasure hunt. <laughs> You start on this one, and I'll start looking through my carrier bags. <laughs> Two orange juices. I have no idea how your crazy English people will keep up this level of fun for a whole week. Don't you worry about us, my friend. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, and we have our running shoes on, so lock up your family. <laughs> Most of my family already locked up. I can't believe they let you back in. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>
Look after those boys for me, Mateo. I want them in tip-top condition for my pub crawl on Friday night. Why did you come here to work? Well, I heard you were still scrabbling around in the dirt on minimum wage in Benidorm. So I thought I'd come and watch. I am not scrambling with the dirt. I am senior barman. I am making more money than Joe. <laughs> Oh, no, my friend. After all your many, many years in Benidorm, you must know how many scams and kickbacks holiday reps are on. Miss Temple Savage does not want you here. Good luck with your kick scams. You will be taking the sack before the end of the week. It's true. Temple Savage don't want me around. So that's why I'm here, to spread the wealth. Mm. The only thing you are good at spreading is your thunder thighs. How I have missed your wit and charm, Matteo. Oh. That reminds me, Nat sends her best. Nat? Yeah, my mate Natalie, who you went out with and proposed to. Maybe I should narrow it down a bit. Dark, petite, very girly. That's her I'm describing, not you. Natalie, of course. I was supposed to call her, but I lost my phone. Save it, dick for brains. Nobody cares. What did you want? I tell you what I want, a quiet life. So, in the spirit of us all getting along, I'm giving you these. What are these? Discount coupons for some of the theme parks. Every time a punter uses one of them, you get a euro. This is some kind of trick. That's still your problem, isn't it, Matteo? What? Well, apart from being an old, greasy, leathery-faced failure, you still don't know a good thing when you see it. You get some for me, Dad? Of course I did. Just give him it. Well? Well, what? What did you get? How much was it? Did he like it? Oh, bloody hell. What's this? 20 questions. I don't know if he liked it. I just give him the bag. Well, what was it? What did you get? Oh, for God's sake. I got him what he asked for. A jazzy, colourful, something he can wear during the day and night. Oh, right. Where's our Jodie? I oh, wonder how long it would take you. To eat Dickie Donut. Who? It's Kate's club. What the bloody hell's that? Well, oddly enough, it's a club in the hotel that's just... No, not that. That! <laughs> Are you checking the piss? I'm sorry, Eddie. What the frig do you call this? It's what you asked for. Something colourful, jazzy, easy to wear. Jazzy? I look like Demi's bloody Rousseff. Oh, you still like him. Have you seen what she spent me money on? It don't, it don't, look, it don't look too bad. <laughs> What the freaking hell are these? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Sit there and bloody laugh at me. <laughs> Listen, Eddie, I got you exactly what you asked for if you don't like. Oh my god, you dirty sod. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you dirty, dirty, evil, smelly rock bugger. So that's two euros makes you ten, and ten's your twenty. Is that all right for you, Phyllis? Definitely. <laughs> oh, you look gorgeous. If only I was 50 or 60 years older. I found him. I found him. Did you hear me? I said I found the teeth. What? Well, I've just been violated. Violated? By you? There was nobody here apart from Phyllis. You've been violated by Phyllis. <laughs> what did she do? Pull up a skirt and show you her ankle? She felt my bum. <laughs> You want glue? I feel like a piece of meat. Oh, Liam. Phyllis is 90 and she's a day. The last thing she's going to do is look at you like a piece of meat. Not without a teeth in any way. Right. I'm talking of teeth. Come on. We're off to see the dentist. Come on. I want to have a shower. <laughs> Come on. Let's 
to go before Phyllis comes back wearing something very revealing in crepe de chine. <laughs> This is just a break you're going on. That salon is never open. Don't be envious, Joyce. Green was never your colour. It clashes terribly with your five o'clock shadow. All I'm saying, Leslie, is yes, it's not unusual for the Solana to put a rep into the hotel. But this Sam may not be all she seems. How do you mean? I mean, she could be a rat. Really? Yes. That's surprising, because I'm not supposed to get on with rats. What with me being a pig? Sorry? Chinese zodiac on the year of the pig. <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. She could be a mole, a snake in the grass. Oh, well, there's a year of the snake, but I can't remember them being a mole. Will you shut up about the Chinese bloody zodiac? That new rep is an informant. Who's she informed? Crystal Hennessy Vass. But if we're not doing anything wrong, she's got nothing to inform her about, has she? Oh. Yes, pal? This is actually very comfortable. You look brilliant, Grandad, like a big, fat, shining sun. All right. Less of the fat. <laughs> you what? You're not wearing that all day, are you? Sharon said she'd go and get you something else, didn't you? He seems happy in that. You said they'd found me cases, so I should get them back today. Plus, they've got me clothes I were wearing when I ran into fish tank. Mind you, oh, I wish you'd not get in my underpants. The old gobstoppers are getting a bit sticky, if you know what I mean. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Everything all right? Uh, no, not really. What's happening with them cases? Cases? Yeah, me dad's cases. You said they'd found them. Did I? I mean, I did. I did say that. You said they won't be for here for a few hours, but in the meantime, you could wangle an upgrade on one of the rooms. Is that right? Wangle? So, your room is an upgrade. You said it was the look of the draw. Right, I want that room. You can frig off. What we thought was, because you had the room upgrade last year... Look at that, it's my case as it's gone missing. That room belongs to me. Well, you're not in that room, so that's the end of it. It's just that we're all unpacked now. You're and... lucky you've got something to unpack. What about me? Dressed as a living room curtain with me knackers stuck to me legs. All right, no, that's enough. That's where I'm oh, my days, what's your dad wearing? That's me granddad. Oh, my days, what's your granddad wearing? He smashed into a fish tank. Oh, that would explain it. So, are you out of us tonight and Robster? Three single boys in Benny. Who's Benny? Benadol. Oh, right. Do you know what? I'm going to give it a miss tonight, lads, if that's all right with you. You're joking. We've all been counting down on Facebook for this night for the past six months. You know, sometimes I wish I could stay on my duvet all day. It's not a duvet, it's a caftan. Duvet, caftan, whatever. Sometimes just want to kick back and lounge, innit? Oh, I don't know about kicking back, he's kicking off. Yeah, I'd better get back to them. See you later. We've got all week to go out, yeah? yeah? No worries, man. Hey, maybe we can get some caftans to go out in tonight. Joey, we're going out tonight to try and sleep with women. And what says sleep with me better than going out in something that looks like a duvet? Huh? You know I'm onto something. <laughs> yeah, a night out on your own if you can't dress like that. Yeah, all right, Mo. Yeah, I'll think about it. Cheers, love. Ta ra. Who was it? Mo. You know Mo. No. You do. Mo. Flaming Mo. Big Mo. Slow Mo. Fly Mo. Mo. Mo from the old town. Kenneth, no matter how many words or phrases you put before or after the name, it won't change the fact I don't know anyone called Mo. He's that Moroccan barman from the pink trombone in the old town. I think his full name is Mohammed. Either that or Maureen. Anyway, he's moving in with his boyfriend and his flat's up for rent. He's giving me first refusal. Well, there you go. Perfect. William. How am I going to afford a two-bed flat in the old town? Oh, is it a two-bedder? Yeah, 500 a month plus another 500 deposits. Absolutely no chance. Well, you're selling your dead uncle's teeth for 150 euros. It's a start. Liam, do you mind? 
Sometimes you make me sound so insensitive, almost uncaring. Sorry. Come on, give them scaredy gnashes. We're going in. And then she gave me these and say, if I hand them out, I will get money. Well, she's obviously on some sort of commission with the theme parks. Yes, I know this, but why is she giving this to me? Because she wants to get along with everyone. No, no way. I know her, she's a snake. Oh, don't you start as well. What? Nothing. Look, I don't know the last well, but I remember when she was here on holiday. And she seems okay. No. No, my little makeup wearing friend, I do not trust her and will be giving her the white girth. And I suggest you give her one as well. Right, what's going on with my clothes? Well, judging by your current outfit, I'd say you pretty much lost the plot. Not these clothes, the clothes I gave you to dry clean. You didn't give me any clothes to dry clean. Well, not you personally. I came out to my room and he gave me clothes to remember the staff walking down the corridor, and I told him I wanted them dry cleaned. We don't do dry cleaning. Well, where are my clothes? <sighs> OK, let's start from the beginning. Which member of staff did you give your clothes to? Uh, they were wearing red overalls and they had a badge saying Jesus. You gave your clothes to Jesus. He works in maintenance. He'll have gone home by now. Well, then where are my cases that went missing? Oh, well, you'll have to see your rep about that. No, bugger that. You just keep fobbing me off. I want my clothes. I'm not asking rep and I'm not asking Jesus. I'm asking you. <coughs> Excuse me, is there a problem? Yes, there is. I want to know what's happened to my clothes. By the look of them, I'm not sure. An explosion in a paint factory? Not these clothes, the clothes in my suitcases. We don't have your clothes. I suggest you talk to your rep, <laughs> if you can find her. Right, that's it. I'll see you in court, because I'm suing you. Really? Right after we sue you for destroying hotel property, endangering the lives of hotel guests from flying glass, attempted murder on various tropical fish, and peeing on our reception floor. You've not seen the last of me. Seen the last of you. Wearing that ridiculous outfit we can see you from the bloody moon. <laughs> oh. Yes, I don't think my nerves can take much more today. What you need is a lovely, relaxing foot massage and a cheeky manicure. You're right. That would be lovely. <laughs> ah! I must apologise for being a bit sentimental earlier, Kenny. It is Kenny, isn't it? Kenneth. The thing is, Kenny, I offered you far too much money. To anybody else, these teeth are worthless. However, I will give you 50 euros. 50? You said 150 in the salon. Their market value is nil. Zero. Nada. It's just that they do represent my finest work. I mean, would Franz Hals want his laughing cavalier back? Would Whistler want his mother back? Hmm? Sorry, I don't know who any of these people are, or the mothers. You're not familiar with art, are you, Kenny? Actually, that's where you're wrong. My mother had quite an extensive art collection. Oh, really? Yes, including that one of the dogs sitting at the table playing cards and the Chinese woman with the green face. Well, then, you clearly know a work of art when you see one. So if they're a work of art, they must be worth money. But only to me. And luckily, that's who we're selling them to. So get your purse out. <sighs> well, I can offer you 60 euros. 300. Oh, that is ridiculous. Come on, Liam, we're wasting our time here. Oh, 70 euros. 300 euros. 75. 250 euros, and that's my bottom line. Kenny, you're crazy. These teeth are worthless, and you said yourself you don't like them. Now, stop being greedy and give me back my work. Firstly, my name is not Kenny, it's Kenneth. And secondly, if you want my uncle's teeth, you'll have to get your snuggle out, cos I'm throwing these in the sea. What? You can't do that. Very, let's see, very dignified. What Herbert would have wanted. I cannot let you throw these teeth in the sea. I will not let you oh, do that. Give me, give me, get off the man! 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 Get
Worthless to anyone but you. Oh, Stanley, you little liar. Three, €350, €1,400. Euros. Can't believe in all this time you had no idea half those teeth were solid gold. I was hardly going to take them out of the box and try them for size. Your Uncle Herbert did look after you in the end. €1,400, <laughs> Euros. small change to him. Don't be ungrateful, it's more money than anyone's ever given me. No, you've got a point. <laughs> Cheers, Uncle Herbert. It's Uncle Herbert. Uncle Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> And now, thanks to him, you get your dream flat in the old town. Oh, well, I've been thinking about that. Mm. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford a flat on my own. Not long term. So get a flat, mate. Who's got to share with me? Someone who likes you. Someone who's tidy and can encourage you to be more tidy. Somebody trustworthy. Good fun. Someone you like being around. You just ruled out most of the people I drink with. This calls for a list to be drawn up. Those glow sticks that whistle, I'd say, the late 1980s. <laughs> How have you been getting on? Not bad. Chatted to a nice girl, but she was like 18. What's wrong with that? No good, mate. You never get past first base. I need a woman with a bit more experience. An older woman spoke to me at that other bar. She was nice. Not well, much older. Too old, mate. I'd say in her 40s. Hey, never say no to an older woman. Really? Yeah. You know about the woman's sexual peak? Is that when she has a sneaky look at your knob? What? <laughs> no, no, not that kind of peak. <laughs> a woman is at a sexual peak at around 40 years of age. Seriously? You do like Loretta, then? Loretta? Ooh, that is the name of one dirty lady. <laughs> Show me the one. <laughs> Mate, if that's what you're into, you should go for it. She looked like she was on her own as well. Oh, wait a minute. There she is. Loretta, may I introduce my friend Tiger? Hello, Tiger. Tiger was just saying he's absolutely mad for an older woman. Oh, no offence. No offence taken, Joey, none whatsoever. Same again, boys. Yeah, nice one. No one's just for me and a pint for Tiger. Coming up, boys. <laughs> Joey, she's about a hundred. A hundred? Seriously? Well, not a hundred, but you know, a heck of a lot older than late thirties. Always been rubbish at guessing people's age. Plus, it was dark over at the other side of the club. Still, look on the bright side. She's getting the drinks in. <laughs> True. Yours, but if you just write down all the items of clothing, footwear, toiletries, electrical goods, everything that was in your case on the left hand side and next to it, how much you were worth. All right, but it's going to add up, let's let you know. I don't skimp on my clobber. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, the Solana Group have admitted full responsibility, so we should settle your claim before the end of the holiday. And so you should. Oh, and they don't usually do this, but I got them to give you an emergency payment of 100 euros to buy a new outfit to keep you going. Just sign there for it, and I'll get that processed as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You've done me proud. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> I might lose my cases a bit more often from now on. <laughs> Grandad, people are still laughing at your dress. They're not laughing at your granddad's dress, darling. They're laughing at your granddad's caftan. Men don't wear dresses. Good evening. Some men wear dresses, but your granddad is wearing a caftan that looks like a dress. Oh, very funny, Sharon. But you know I'll have the last laugh when I get my compensation claim. What are you going to do in the meantime? You can't wear that every day. <laughs> of course not. I'm going to get myself a pair of speedos tomorrow, so when I'm not wearing my caftan, I'll be wearing those. Or maybe a nice uh, 
leopard skin thong. <sighs> Listen, would you not mind if I went out with Tiger and Joey tonight? I told them I was staying here, but as my nana isn't coming in till tomorrow now... Yeah, you go out, son. If you end up in one of them dodgy bars with you all doing shots out of a stripper's belly button, give us a shout. I might join you. <laughs> <laughs> joke, obviously, just a joke. Not my kind of thing. Can't stand shots. Right, see you all later. Oh, don't be late. I won't. I'll be really, really early. And be careful. Yeah. I can shadow him if you like. You what? You know, follow him from a discreet distance so he don't get into any bother. A discreet distance? Just as a large child's duvet? I think you look great, Grandad. It makes me happy every time I look at you. Well, then we're equal, my darling, because every time I look at you, you'll make me very happy. And to show you how happy you make me, Grandad, I'm going to sing you a song. Oh. Oh, I didn't realise you were that happy. I tell you what, darling, why don't you wait a few days? Because you know that thing you get on the aeroplane where you can't hear anything? Yeah. Well, I've got that, and I should hate to miss it, darling. Truly, I would. You never mentioned your ears when you got off the plane. Pardon? I'll tell you, man, she's all right. Leslie, you do not know her. She was always making trouble for me and my girlfriend, Natalie. Or was she just trying to protect her because you were all very married? Whose side are you on, huh? I'm on nobody's side. I'm just saying we should give her a chance. Here you go. Ten euros. What is this? From the coupons I gave you today, the flyers. What trick are you playing, huh? I threw those flyers away. Eh, uh, no, you didn't. What? You threw them next to the computer on the reception. I put them on the desk. Well, whatever. Obviously, ten people used them for the various theme parks, and you get one euro commission for each one. It's not a fortune, but over a month, it can add up to quite a nice bonus. I'll get some for you too, Leslie. Well, that's if you want some. Oh, I chuck in. Right, that is me finally knocking off for tonight. Time for a drink with your Liam. See you later. So, are we all agreed that we're going to do the best we can to get Crystal to remove this annoying holiday wreck? No, oh, she's no way. way. I think she'll do really well here. Yes, uh, great, how do you say, addition to the team. Right, I see. Well, that's that decided then. I'm sorry we've not been around. We had a busy day, didn't we, Kenneth? Yeah, been run ragged. Never known anything like it. I was just saying, it's great having Sam working at the Solana. Oh. Yeah. Great. Oh, it's no good. I've texted everyone. Fat Phil, Andy from the gym, Leslie Trish, Coco, both the Bee Gees and Ollie Murs. None of them are looking for a flat shirt. I think you need to start looking a bit closer to home. What are you talking about? They all live in Benidorm. No, no, much closer to home, like this table. Oh, Sam, you looking for somewhere to live? No. Not her, for God's sake, Kenneth, me. You? You'd never live with me. Well, let's try it. I love me dad, but I can't live with him forever. He needs his space. So do I. Are you serious? I'm serious. You're messy, but a great cook. I've got OCD and can burn a salad <laughs> with a perfect match. Flatmates? It's true. I can't make a panic house that would make a grown man cry. Flatmates! <laughs> and the first one's rent is on me. Well, you Uncle Herbert. Bloody hell, I wish I had an uncle like that. Oh, he doesn't know about it. We pulled out his gold teeth and sold them at the indoor market. To Uncle Herbert. Thank you. Uncle Herbert. Oh. For you. Sorry, mate, my phone's dead and Tiger's absolutely smashed on short. You've not been sucking them out strippers belly buttons, I hope. <laughs> oh, mate, but the woman we've met would definitely let you do it. Amazing. Yeah, she's too old for Tig, but she's pissed. Pissed. What's the word? Pissed out of her mind? No. 
persistent. <laughs> Loretta, Loretta, this is... Hello, Robert. Fancy seeing you here. My days, you know Rob, you naughty lady. How many young guys have you met in Benidorm already? You said this was your first night. Yeah. Rockstar. Oh, to the G to the N. Your face says it all. Please don't tell me you two went all the way. Joey? Joey, you don't understand. Rob, are you right? The Ritter is. The Ritter is my nana. Nana? Who's a nana? I... Wait a minute. You don't mean your nan, do you? She's my grandmother. And there's more fun here on ITV tomorrow night with a brand new comedy that's out of this world. Harry Hill's Alien Fun Capsule starts tomorrow night at 8.30. And what better guest to celebrate St. David's Day than with the Welsh comedy genius Rob Brydon. He'll be joining David Williams on The Nightly Show next. Yeah.